Hey, Vilya, what's up? Wouldn't it be nice to just talk a little, you and I? Hi. Tell me your thoughts. I got a letter today from my old friend Britt. Did I ever tell you about her? Yeah. We were childhood friends, but later on she and her family moved to the Locken Island, and now she's working there as a castle maid. Anyway, she told me that she is in love too, with one of the town guards, and he really seems to be extraordinary. Guess what? He brought her a wonderful love poem that he had asked the bard to write for him. Isn't that romantic? Mm. Yeah, it's very romantic indeed. That was good. Of, that was a very nice thing of him to do. Yes, I wonder what it would be like to receive such a poem from the one you love. Oh well, I'm so happy for her sake anyway. Hmm. Well, give me some time and I'll write a poem for you as well. You will? Oh, sweetheart, I would love that. Yeah, it'll take a little bit of time, but I'll come up with something. All right. Talk later. Yeah, let's be on our way. So the headmaster told me that I could speak to some of the instructors and that they would have jobs for me, so let's I'm see. I am Dean of Loot at the Bard's College, and no, I don't give private lessons. Dean of Loot, eh? You know, I'm wondering something. A long time ago, on one of my very first adventures, I found this loot. Finn's loot. And I'm wondering if you could tell me anything about it. It makes me sad when yes. I think about it. Why are you sad? Mm, oh, sorry. My mind wanders sometimes. I was just thinking about Finn's loot. Over a year ago, thieves broke into the college and made off with a lot of valuable things, mostly gold and silver. But they also stole Finn's loot. We just learned where the bandits fled to, and I very much want that loot back. Hmm, what's so important about that loot? Finn was the bard who invented the eight-course loot that is commonplace today. Until he found a way to string the extra courses, bards only had six-course loots. The loot they stole is Finn's original eight-course loot. I doubt they even realize its true value. Hmm. Well, it just so happens today is your lucky day. I found Finn's loot a long time ago. What? You did? Oh, sweet divines, you did! There is no way I can pay you what this loot is worth, but I can teach you a few tricks I've learned over the years. Always good to see a fellow bard. Wow. Wow. Hello, friend. Blazes. Well, look at you. If only everyone acted like you did. Well, if well, thank you. Um, I appreciate that. Wow. Hey now. How are We're your on students to something? coming along? Bunch of distractions, if you ask me. They just interrupt the rest of my work. I'm sorry to break it to you, Giro, but students are an unfortunate necessity of a college. Yes, they Do are. Try to persevere. Yes, headmaster. Let's go downstairs to see if we can find another instructor. Uh, hello, Gerard. Hello, friend. Hmm. Um. What did they find? Rion's drum. Nobody knows where he died, and therefore where his drum might be. Haldir was the missing link. Rion entered Haldir's cairn in secret and presumably died there. Now all I need to do is find someone to get it. Wait, you. You could do it. I need you to get me that drum. Okay, who's Rion and why do you want his drum so badly? You're joking, right? Rion, only the most famous battle drummer of the Second Age? Well, famous among bards, at least. 
That drum has been in half a dozen famous battles. It's a priceless artifact. Riorn was always looking for new stories to tell. It seems he was writing a lay about Haldir when he vanished. That was the missing clue. Hmm, I see. Well, I'll find it for you then. Not a trouble. Travel safe. Aye. Thank you. Who else do we have here? Oh, hi, Syndra. What is... Do you like my music? Need something? Yes, I do. Talk later. No problem. Um, who else can we speak to? Maybe downstairs. Now, this is the kitchen. Yeah, I don't think they're in there. I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. Take a load off and enjoy the atmosphere. Being old's not so bad. Daughter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. Ah, so I found a gathering of the headmaster and a few other townsfolk here at the Winking Skeever. Let's see. Pantea Atia. Excuse me. That damn fool. Out with it. I should wring her neck. Uh, whose neck is that? Lorena. That fool student of mine stole my flute and sold it to some necromancer. I just got a ransom note for it. That flute has been handed down for 17 generations. Well, don't just stand there. Go get my flute! Very well, but why would a necromancer want your flute? Apparently, Lorena told him some story about the flute being able to make the dead dance. It's just a flute. A really old and valuable flute, but just a flute. Huh. Oh, very well. I'm looking for a drum, so I'll find a flute while I'm at it. Be well. Always good to see a fellow bard. Aye. Well, let's be on our way. How are your students coming along? So a drum and a lute, and some other things to be done too. I think we'll be busy for a while. All right, let's see. We dropped off some. I've been looking for you. Got something yes. I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Oh, really? Let's see here. It's from Falk Firebeard at the Blue Palace. Ooh, ah. You've got friends in high places. Yeah, that is Looks true. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Very well. So Falk Firebeard sent us a message. Let's see what it says. Um, letter from Falk Firebeard. There it is. Dragom. Over the last few days, we've had some disturbing information come to light regarding the events at Wolf Skull Cave and the summoning and binding ritual you interrupted there. Yeah, that was, uh... Oh, I guess that was about a couple of weeks ago, I think. Uh, given your involvement with that event, I'm asking you to return to Solitude to help us once more. I'm wary of putting all the details in print. Please come see me at the Blue Palace. Sincerely. Falk Firebeard. Nice letterhead that he's got there, too. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's go see what Falk wants. Looks like 
heading south is going to be put off for another day, I guess. I don't know. We'll need to find the uh, drum and the flute for the Bard's College. And here we are. <laughs> I don't know if everybody likes that. Doing that in their house and everything, Velia. I mean, I guess it's okay, but... Some people are a little... They have an aversion to magic. <clears throat> so where is Falk? Let's see, there's Jarl. Greetings, Jarl. Uh, you're not Falk Firebeard. Is that him? Yeah. Here we are. The courier must have found Need me. something? Yeah, he did. Uh, you sent me a message about Wolf Skull Cave? Yes, old friend. I'm afraid it's not good news. When you broke up the binding, Potema escaped. We even countered some of her minions. Steer says she's still in spirit form, or we'd all be dead already. You've already done us a service in stopping the binding, but I need you to go talk to him. To see if Steer can tell us what to do next. All right. Um, I'll help in help in any way I can. But uh, who is Steer? He's Solitude's priest of Arche. He's the one who figured out Potema was still around. He'll help as much as he can. Very well. I'll talk to Steer. We'll figure something out. I wish you well, friend. Be careful. So, Patema's back. And apparently badder than ever. Okay, so we need to talk to Steer. And I guess... If he's the priest of Arkay, he would be... I'm gonna guess the cathedral. Now, let's see. I've never been to the Please, cathedral. take pity on an old madman. I really if need to talk to him to sometime. Um, Please promise me not to take any unnecessary risks. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Going into the catacombs? Ah, we'll be fine. I think we've it's your time to do it. gone up against worse. I think. She is the wolf queen. So let's see. Um and what you do here today may well save your lives. I don't know. Is this Temple of the Divines, okay. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. Have I got Freckle? Oh wow. I hate Freckle. Shh. Uh greetings. You look troubled. Have Need you something? Guidance? Um, actually, uh, what do the shrines do? Those who worship at the shrines will sometimes receive boons from the gods themselves. The nature of the favors varies per deity. Please, feel free to worship at any or all of the shrines. Hmm. Alright. Um, the strong yeah, well, and honorable always carry the blessing of the eight. Ah, the eight. That's interesting. Rorland, who I think I've met before, if I remember right. Now let's see what we got here. Uh, RK. When I first arrived in Solitude, Stay I had going. expected more stores and such. But uh, I guess it's quite nice here anyway. Yeah, it is. That's Mara. I know that one. Julianus. Akatosh. <laughs> Debella, of course. Kinnereth, of course. Um, oh, that one's empty. Oh, yeah. Talos. Ah. Blazes. 
all this this war is just over the worshipping of one god have you ever seen a female giant there we I go. mean all the male giants must come from somewhere um you know come to think of it now that you mention it I've never seen a female giant Hey, Lucy. Looking good. Hey, Inigo. Alright, we need to figure out where this guy is. So, let's... Hmm. Let's take a look at the journal. Batema has been summoned from beyond the grave and is gathering power. Falk has sent me to steer to get the key to Batema's catacomb. Right. Is he in here? I don't, you know what? <laughs> I don't even think he's in here. Unless... Maybe this is the door that we need to get in? What is that? My mom always said that I should stay away from guys like you. But I can't say I agree with her. Well, I'm glad you don't. All right. Well, let's go find Steer. And we'll speak with him. All right. I do believe we've found him. Steer, I... Presume. You must be the one Falk spoke so highly of. Welcome. Hi, I'm Dragum. Need something? Falk sent me to talk to you about Potema. Ah, Potema. Former queen of solitude and one of the most dangerous necromancers in recorded history. She was responsible for the Empire's near collapse almost 500 years ago. I believe I have a book about her. Hmm. And now that she's returned? Summoned in spirit form is not raised from the dead. She'll need help before she can return to the living. For the moment, the Wolf Queen has retreated to a place filled with dead, eager to serve her. She has gone to her old catacombs. A few days ago, one of her servants busted through a wall into the Temple of Divines. We'll need you to go into the catacombs themselves. Hmm. Well, I can do that. Good. Being at the summoning created a connection to Potema. You are the one to do this. I can provide you with some help with her minions. As to Potema herself, find what's left of her body, likely a skeleton. Remove it from the catacombs and bring it back to be sanctified by R.K. Very well. Hmm, what do I need to know about Potema? A curious figure. Unrepentantly evil and nasty, of course but also astonishingly brilliant, and obviously quite a necromancer at her end. She was always so close to being Empress, but despite her machinations, it was never to be hers. Ironically, if she were alive today, she'd be the only living member of the Septim bloodline. By all rights, she would now be Empress. <laughs> well, it's good to know. Very well. Um, how long have you tended this Hall of the Dead? All my life. I practically grew up in the Hall. My father and mother were the priest and priestess of Arke before me, you see. I believe I was put here to protect this place from the darkness that pervades solitude. And what darkness would that be? This city has a long history of madness and murder. The Wolf Queen, Pelagius, the death of High King Toric, and now, public executions. My books tell the stories, have no doubt, as pretty as its streets are, as jovial as the bards may be, darkness is drawn to solitude. I see. Is the man who was executed buried here? You mean Rogvir? I... Yes, I made an appeal to Captain Aldous. 
he allowed Rogbeer to have a proper Nord burial, as is the custom in solitude. Mm, very well. May Arke bless you with a long life. Thank you. Well, my friends, it would appear that we are headed to the catacombs. He's got a nice little kind of a room here. Hmm. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not doing any of that. Not, not to a priest. So let's go look around. Down in the basement, I guess. It may be that Tari at the Radiant Raiment isn't very friendly. Still, she's a lot nicer than her sister and Ari. Hmm. Maybe. Well, Solitude Catacombs. Let's try this. Okay. Is everyone with us? Yeah. See, it's still coming in, I think. Hmm. So we have uh, the Ice Blade of the Monarch. We have Miramilnir's Fang and Claw. I think I'll start with the Ice Blade of the Monarch. Oh, boy. Wait a minute. Ooh. Whoa! Ugh. Skeleton! Vilia, you okay? Here we go again! Wait. Uh oh. Alright, okay. Let's see. Force. Oh, I'm not afraid of you. Hmm. So she has some undead minions. That's to be expected. So I'm guessing that Lucian can't get in here for some reason. Maybe because of the magic. Wait a minute. Can we not take anything from here? Are we in the right catacombs? Hmm. Let me look at something. All right, looking over the map, uh, I think we're in the wrong place. <laughs> Let's head back out. I, I don't know, I think I'm in the wrong place. But if so, I mean, there's Lucian. Okay. It would appear that we need to go to the Temple of the Divines. Blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. How may I help? Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Um. <laughs> okay. This is a little confusing 
Down this way, perhaps. Hmm. All right. Oh, excuse me, Lucian. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I in your way? Thank you so much for asking so politely. Yes, not a trouble. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Firebrand wine. Let us walk uh, in the steps of the divines. Oh, she's coming this way. Come on, let's go. Poor Angelina Morad. It's so sad that her daughter died in the war. It's so pointless. I hate wars. Ah, okay. So it was that lock gate we saw earlier. Is that? Blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. How may I help? Um, we are just going to, uh, take care of... Remind us of our place when we forget. Batema. Batema. <clears throat> 